Welcome back to Retirement News Online, and today we're talking about everybody's favorite topic, taxes. Now, taxes don't stop when your paycheck does. In fact, tapping your retirement nest egg comes with all sorts of new rules, but there are some opportunities to consider. And my guest is Mindy Bartnicki with Appreciation Financial. Mindy, when someone retires, so the assets they have accumulated now needs to provide income, this creates tax liability. Talk about how these retirement accounts are typically taxed. Okay, there's pre-tax and there's post-tax. Pre-tax would be traditional IRAs, 403Bs, 457s, um, and post-tax would be your Roth IRAs or cash value life insurance. Mindy, is it possible to minimize the taxation on required minimum distributions on these IRA accounts? So you want to make sure your income stays low throughout your career, that's the first thing. And then um, what you want to do is you want to diversify your portfolio. So you want to be able to take some of the taxes at the beginning of your retirement and then save some for the end. So that's kind of the way to do that. Mindy, finally, how can life insurance be used to create tax efficient income? So life insurance is a lot different than it was growing up and back in the day. Um, now they have investment properties within the life insurance. So as the cash value accumulates throughout time, you're able to, you know, take loans out, um, then you're able to turn that into a, a tax-free stream of income. The other great thing about that too is you're able to leave that for your beneficiaries when you pass. That's Mindy Bartnicki. She's with Appreciation Financial. Thanks for watching Retirement News Online at retirementnewsonline.com.